hello everyone. Rock, paper, scissors. The game that you would have spent countless hours playing and a favorite cherished past time. To tell you an interesting fact, that there is even a professional society, the RPS Society, which offers a website and also organizes championships for this game. And it even has a movie documenting the 2003 Toronto Championship of this game. So let's see what game theory has to offer or explain about the game Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's see the rules of the game briefly we know that rock hits the scissors paper wraps the rock and scissors cut the paper and this is expected payoff of the game there are two players player one and player two and they have three strategies either to choose rock paper or scissors now briefly understanding how this game is formed when both the players choose rock or both choose paper or both choose scissors then their payoffs are zero because neither of them wins and it is a tie of the game but let's suppose if player two chooses raw and player one chooses paper then player one will win dollar one and player two will lose dollar one so we have written minus one and similarly if player one chooses scissors and player two chooses raw then player one will lose dollar one and player two will win dollar one. So in this way, all the nine boxes of the game has been written. You may take a minute to figure out the equilibrium of the game for yourself. First, let's position ourselves into the place of player one and see what will he do. If player two chooses rock, then player one will choose paper because paper wraps rock and this is the highest payoff that he can get if player 2 chooses rock. If player 2 chooses paper, then the highest payoff he can get is 1, that is by choosing scissors. And if player 2 chooses scissor, then he will choose rock. Now let's see what player 2 will do. If player 1 chooses rock, then player 1 if player 2 will choose paper. If player 1 chooses paper, then 2 will choose scissors. And if player 1 chooses scissor, then player 2 will choose rock. So we have underlined all the payoffs, whatever possible strategies are. Now, if we see by the underlining procedure, it reveals that there is no Nash equilibrium in all the nine boxes. We see there is none of the boxes where both the payoffs are underlined and hence we conclude that the game has no Nash equilibrium. We also see that any strategy pair is unstable as it offers an incentive to at least one of the player to debut. For example, if the both choose scissors scissors and this is the strategy player chosen, then it is an incentive for the player one to choose rock, he will deviate towards rock, or either player two to choose rock. So the pair scissors scissors is unstable. Similarly, let's see for any other strategy pair. That is, let's see it for rock, paper and rock. It provides an incentive for player 2 to choose scissors and hence he would like to deviate to scissors if player 1 chooses paper. So we see that none of the strategy players are stable as it provides an incentive for a player to deviate. So there is no Nash equilibrium of this game. And there is no definite outcome that will happen. So this was all about the game Rock, Paper and Scissors. Thank you everyone. If you have any doubts concerning any of the videos of Game Theory, do comment in the section below. Thank you.